Here we talk about patient with stage 4, but completely resected, meaning that you don't see any metastasis, but you know the patient is, a, is more than a stage 3. He already had metastasis, a, a distant metastasis. And we have such patients with, a, usually it's oligometastatic patients, because it was possible to delete, to, to resect the metastasis. But then what to do with these patients? So we know that Nivolumab seems to be helpful because a subpopulation of patients in this situation were enrolled in an adjuvant trial that was published uh, previously. But now this work was done only on this population and three arms with about 50 patients in each arm. EP Nivo versus Nivo versus just follow-up because today it's not unethical not to give anything to these patients until we know what is uh, really working. And here you see the curve, so it's only relapse-free survival, it's not overall survival. But here you can see a real huge difference between the, the three curves, meaning follow-up is really down, then you have nivolumab and then EP nivo does really, really much better. So we don't have a very long follow-up, but it's extremely impressive and I, I think it should uh, lead to a change in our clinical practice very soon because we had really a very good encouragement to give this combination to patients in this situation.